Welcome to the Morning Update. I'm Taylor Jones and more storms are forecast for Victoria today after the state was lashed yesterday. Emergency services have already responded to more than 450 calls for help with extensive flooding, collapsed roofs and fallen trees. Many are without power. And flash flooding's also hit North Queensland. Townsville receiving more than a third of its annual rainfall in just the one day. A magnitude 6.2 earthquake has struck off the coast of Tonga almost two weeks after the region was devastated by a volcanic eruption and tsunami. There have been no immediate reports of damage, though, and communication is limited after the earlier eruption severed the main underwater cable connecting Tonga to the rest of the world. Premiers and ministers have agreed to change the management of truck licences while the nation deals with staff shortages. Licensing will now be based on competency rather than time spent behind the wheel and Australia will also recognise New Zealand licences. Our COVID vaccination requirements could be changing. A target is considering whether a third dose should be needed to be considered fully vaccinated. Meanwhile, experts warn that a new variant of Omicron could be more contagious and more difficult to detect. The latest variant, known as BA2, has been detected in 40 countries already. It is harder to track than previous strains as it can only be confirmed through lab analysis rather than a PCR or a rapid test. And Prime Minister Scott Morrison is pledging an extra billion dollars to save the Great Barrier Reef from climate change. The money will go toward improving water quality, reef management and conservation, as well as investing in research. To sport now, and Ash Barty is through to the final of the Australian Open tennis after a straight sets win over Madison Keys last night. I'm just happy that I get to play my best tennis here. Uh, I enjoy it. I've done well before and, and now we have a chance to play for a title. It's, it's unreal. The world number one will now take on American Danielle Collins for the title. No fairy tale ending for Dylan Olcott's final game of his tennis career, though, losing in the quad wheelchair singles final to Sam Schroeder. In cricket now, and the Aussie women are in a strong position as they head into day two of the one-off test against England in Canberra. They'll resume at 7 for 327. And it was a big win to the Socceroos in last night's World Cup qualifier against Vietnam for nil. In entertainment news, Katy Perry is adding more dates to her Vegas residency after quickly selling out. Her show Play will now run from May through to August. Chris Martin has laid out a definitive plan for Coldplay's future, saying the band will only make three more albums and that their final one will be written as a musical. However, they will continue touring. And Glenn Matlock, the original bassist for the Sex Pistols, has signed a new solo record deal with Universal. And that is the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of The Update. 